Voters will head to the polls in 44 days, and tonight we have a glimpse into how Texans are feeling. KVU, in partnership with the Texas Hispanic Policy Foundation, surveyed over 1,000 likely Texas voters. The Texas Decides poll was taken between September 6th and September 15th. We broke the findings down into three parts. KVU's Maria Aguilera is breaking down the data for us tonight. Maria, voters are deciding on the next governor, lieutenant governor, and attorney general. What did the results say? Well, Darinisha, according to our new poll, support for Republicans remains strong across the board heading into the November elections. Now, tonight, we'll go over some of the big races you mentioned. Now, first, let's get into the poll results for the governor's race. The poll found that Republican incumbent Greg Abbott leads Democrat Beto O'Rourke by seven points. You can see there it's 51 percent to 44 percent among likely voters. Now, when it comes to almost certain voters, the lead grows to 10 points. Now, in the race for lieutenant governor, it is 48% to 42%. Republican incumbent Dan Patrick holds a six-point lead over Democrat Mike Collier among likely voters. Patrick also has an eight-point advantage over Collier among almost certain voters. And in the attorney general election, Republican incumbent Kim Paxton leads Democrat Rochelle Garza by five points, 47% to 42% among likely voters, and by seven points among the almost certain voters. Voters. Now, I spoke with the chairman and CEO of the Texas Hispanic Policy Foundation, which conducted this poll. He says Governor Abbott remains more favorable, as we saw in these results, even after the overturning of Roe v. Wade. One of the biggest surprises in this poll to me was that women voters in Texas were only 2% more in favor of Beto than Abbott. And other parts of the country and recent elections post Dobbs decision, we saw women voters go much stronger for the Democratic candidate than the Republican candidates. Now, Vialba says Democrats need new voters to be able to shift the tide, but historically, younger voters don't turn out in the same proportion as older voters. However, taking a snapshot just a little over 40 days out from an election, things can certainly change.